Hello YouTube, Gundam here. I am doing a This Is video of the USS Stalingrad 7. My current mainline vessel, a Dreadnought Cruiser. First off, I'm going to just show you what I have. We have Phaser Dual Heavy Cannons Mark 12 with critical damage times 2 and hit. Phaser Dual Heavy Cannons Mark 12 with damage. Another Dual Heavy Cannon Mark 12 with damage. Breen Transphasic Cluster Torpedoes. We have, well actually let's go to the other weapons. Phaser Beam Ray Mark 11. Phaser Beam Ray Mark 11. Kinetic Cutting Beam Mark 12. And another Breen Transphasic Clusters. Now, Deflector Dish is a simulated Deflector Array, Mark 10. Impulse Engine is a simulated Sub Trans Warp Engines. It's very fast for the map. Shield is a simulated Regenerative Shield Array, Mark 10. And yes, I am showing these three because. With them, they get all of their abilities. Autonomous Regeneration Sequencer, Multi-Regenerative Shield Ray Assimilated, Tractor Beam. Oh yeah, well it's just those things. Now <laughs> uh, the devices is a thing of fighters, but I'm not going to use, I never use those, so don't worry. I have a Mark 12 Rare uh, Electro Ceramic Hull Plating, which is good for Plasma and Tetrion Resistance. I have a common version of that. I have Universal Assimilated Module. And I have the Kinect Economy. I still need the Omega Plasma Torpedo Launcher. But my reputation for Omega is only the Tier 2. Now, because the ship turns slow, I have the RCS Accelerator Mark 11. Next, a Universal Isometric charge which is very handy but maybe not the best a cloaking device that can come in handy <laughs> yeah the dreadnought cruiser is one of only three ships that can equip that thing next my favorite the antimatter spread next up Phaser Relay for additional phaser damage. And Transphasic Compressor because these are transphasic torpedoes, so they get a little bit of a damage boost. Next, General Information, Crew Complement, Clue Recovery Rate, all that for defense. Bonus defense, 0%, hull, 40,000. Hull repair rate, 3.6 a minute, except for some bonuses. My shields are 5225 on each side. Kinetic zero, phaser zero, disruptor zero. But plasma and tetrion is at 40%. Polar on an anti proton, also at zero. Attack, critical chance, 3%. Critical severity, 59%. Skill based stats. Now you'll have to slow it down because uh, there's quite a few of them. Movement. This is the problem. Inertia, 25. Turn rate, only 3 degrees per second. And that's with this. Now, here is what I am wanting people to do. Yes, I know I need new shields. Do not comment about the new shields, because I'm going to get the Mako shields which I believe are very very good and people keep telling me to get them so yes the Mako shields however what about everything else should I just get this type of weapon for the others here should I get some different weapon altogether should I get should I move around these consoles all the consoles fine but need to be moved around a bit do I need to keep certain consoles as are or switch them to from uncommon to common, to rare, to very rare. Do I need to switch out certain weapons for a different type of weapon? Should I leave the ship as is, except for the shields? 
and just upgrade everything to Mark 12 very rare. What should I do with this ship? Besides the shields, I know of that. What should I do? To make this the best it can be. If you have a better shield idea that would be good for this than the Mako maximum shields, those really good ones, well, you can say that. But you had better give some evidence because I already know the shields are good. But leave a comment in the comment section below of what do you think I should do. And you can say, do all this stuff, or just say, okay, um, those guns are good, but maybe upgrade them. You know, just say about one little thing if you want, or say about the whole thing. Just different things. But no, I am not going to get a different ship unless I can get the Odyssey. I want to get all three of the Odyssey variants so I can toss stuff around and make it really powerful. But I don't have the funds for that. So, leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what will make this Dreadnought Cruiser good. Ciao.